Hello my soccer universe. I know it's very late in the season and I also know that I have very little time to do a full jersey review. I still wanted to review all the jerseys from the big leagues and today we're looking at the Premier League so I do it a little bit differently. First off, for the teams that were present in the Champions League and the Europa League you can find the full jersey reviews of the entire set in the respective uh, videos for my Europa League and uh, Champions League jersey reviews. However, I threw them now all together. I already pre-graded them on a scale from 1 being the worst to 10 being the best and I decided to throw them all in one video and we run from the worst jersey to the best jer jersey and you will see the grades along the way. We have tons of jerseys to cover so let's get started and we'll start with the third of the season, the Spurs third jer jersey. The color just it's awful. I really hate this one. Uh, slightly better is the Forest third jersey. However, I find from the design to the colors, nothing really jives, no, nothing's Forest. It's an awful jersey. Uh, Arsenal's away jersey is one of the most garish jerseys uh, released this season. I, it's all over, 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 over the place has only deserved two stars. The Wolves third jersey, uh, while color-wise is not that pleasing, has nothing to do much with Wolves and also the pattern is so overbearing that you don't even see the crest and all the other applications and anymore. Awful jersey. Really, really don't like it. Going a grade up to three, uh, the Brentford third jersey, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on there. It's just a little bit all over the place, uh, has a weird chrome effect really not liking that one. Uh, the Everton 23 away jersey is probably based on a goalkeeping jersey from uh, the 90s. Um, has an abstract design that I'm not too fond of. It's a little bit too wild but mainly the color really really off. I mean Everton shouldn't there be any red in there? So there you go. Uh, I also find the Wolves away jersey a little bit too wild, a little bit too patchy. It's all over the place. Uh, not a great effort by Castori. Uh, the United away jersey. There are elements of it that I like. However, seeing it in game, it's nausea inducing and I haven't seen it all that much. Fortunately enough, it's nice try, but there's not much going on. Moving on to the next grade, number four, uh, the Brighton third jersey is reused from the last season. Why? It's a weird color with a decolorized Brighton crest. Doesn't make for a great jersey. Uh, same thing goes for the Chelsea third jersey, whether without, as it was originally released, or with a sponsor. Uh, just the colors don't jive and also the overall uh, set, uh, you, we have only bluish colors doesn't really work for me. Uh, the Sheffield United third is more that it's boring and I also don't like the underarm patches but it's kind of devoid of any color and personality. Not a great jersey. Uh, the Bournemouth home, uh, why are the red stripes so thin? Really don't like that one. Uh, for that, that, that reason otherwise colors are fine and, and, and so on. It's just uh, the design uh, too little red. Uh, the Fulham third jersey is also one of those monstrosities. Uh, I, I do like the black with the pink a little bit also the crest doesn't look totally out, out, out of place but something's quite off with that one as well uh, i also don't like the manchester city away jersey all that much uh, the garish lightning bolts and the, the reddish colors again red manchester united why do we have uh, red in there doesn't really fly with me. Um, the Bournemouth away jersey, I get it. Yes, we are uh, more sea related, blah, blah, but it looks a little bit of a uh, mixture between fingerprints and the waves. And like the Wolves jersey we saw earlier, you don't see any of the application except the duffer bed because the pattern is, is, is so wild. So really, really an odd one here. Five stars, so we are right down the middle. Um, I'm not so sold on the pink for Fulham, but I think overall it's a nice jersey. Um, I probably think a full color Fulham dress might have looked even a little bit better on that one. Uh, the Newcastle away jersey green, yes, yeah, Saudi Arabia, we know you, you, you from there. There's a little bit of the Razzle Dazzle camo uh, on there. It's a so-and-so jersey, again, you cannot make out the crest. 
don't like it for that reason. The Villa home jersey. I really like the new and soon to be gone Villa crest. However, the jersey itself is kind of, well, I don't know. Uh, it's not a great, a great one. Too many colors also with the sponsors added on there. The Bournemouth third jersey. I get the half and half look however why is the uh, sleeve on the crest side not uh, yellow again so that's a little bit uneven but at least there's something interesting there um the liverpool third jersey um i have maybe a sentimental value from uh, there i think it is not so bad with the pattering all over however it's also not a great jersey a little bit better i like the spurs away jersey however for a dark blue jersey this is probably the worst thing that, that you can do i was really looking forward when spurs uh said they're gonna have a dark blue jersey no this doesn't work the color com combinations i really like the aridus and crest but i don't like the underarm patches in lila and then the, it's just color wise completely off for a nice jersey the villa third jersey i think there is something in there but on the other side it's also a little bit wild and again you have a new crest by making monochromatic already so yeah um bit too wild for my taste the brentford away i gotta say yeah light blue i do like an old style crest but overall it doesn't feel very brentford to me then we have the Fulham home jersey. I like the idea with the black shoulders and maybe uh, the accent colors a little bit switched on, but I think if both sides had red shoulders, this would be a much better jersey because the body is anyway already red white. So use red as a full accent color would make it probably a better jersey. The Brentford home, again, the first new Brentford jersey since they got promoted. Um, I actually like the black accents. Maybe the fade uh, coming up, up from her from bottom is something I would not have done but i actually like the black on the, on the sides but you know it's also a little bit too too messy to deserve a higher grade uh i like the western third jersey i uh, kind of i find the colors very 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 pleasing although i find maybe this is a black version uh would probably work a little bit better because you have to light light blue from where where best time so you know get a little bit more of the club's colors in i don't know what the diamond pattern should, should be in the front but you know when you see it in game it's actually quite pleasing the city third jersey to me this would work better as a west ham villa burnley jersey in a way so i i don't know where this is coming from but i think it's a nice effort especially with the color and so on but it's also not the greatest jersey let's be frank about that we're entering like six it. and we'll start with the burnley third jersey I do like the color scheme and I also like how the sponsor can kind of nicely connects with all the other applications. I'm just not sure about the pattern up top. That makes it a little bit look weird. I think if this was a little bit more solid, there might be a gradient effect in there more. Uh, I think I would like this even better. Uh, the Chelsea home again with or without sponsor. The Redis and Crest is interesting. Uh, I don't like necessarily the patch, but that's fine. Um, it has a 90s feel which was the idea but i think for that he would have gone with a nicer color and the boomerang shape on the back is also maybe not the greatest but it's not a bad jersey overall i also think that the sheffield united home uh there is something there i like the black pinstripes to uh, separate the red and the white the underarm patches i would have let loose and maybe the sponsor i mean it kind of fits and kind of doesn't fit uh that's maybe my, my gripe with that one then we have the Luton third jersey. Yes, this should be similar to Arsenal, kind of um, a reminders of the area around the stadium. Honestly, without the pink lines, this would be a much, much better shirt. That's my opinion uh, here. We have the Spurs home jersey. Yeah, it's a Spurs jersey with some interesting effect on there, but doesn't really do that much for, for me. But it's overall not a bad jersey. It is recognizable Spurs. Similar goes for City home. I don't like the, 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 the two center stripes are so close together, which is Puma template. We know, however, this time it kind of should remind us of the Etihad State Stadium, the towers there. I think it's a very tenuous link overall uh the sheffield united the way is probably their best jersey i really like the uh, strong yellow um i find also the black and the red co uh, collar and sleeve cuffs really nice um and also the crest the monochromatic looks not bad this is a decent shirt i gotta say and Aston Villa's away jersey, I like the playfulness and you know, there's the lion and the pattering on there. This is a really nice jersey overall. Uh, quite a nice effort by Calstory. Also sponsors are not as wild color wise. Maybe I should have gone the crest with the light blue background, but 
you know i take it it's a, i think this is a quite decent jersey seven we are going even higher i really do enjoy this forest away jersey i like these wavy lines yes it's a little bit argentina inspired probably uh the sponsor maybe takes it a notch down but uh over i think this is a quite a pleasing shirt so uh therefore i rank it rather high um the crystal palace home uh there are many features that i especially like that uh there's the actual crystal palace on there i would let go of the white sand set center line and maybe the color go all around in white that will make it even a better jersey but i think it's a really really nice half and half effort by palace luton town the away jersey i really like the off center orange stripe holding the crest and then um you know also our outline in the uh, black or really really deep navy uh makes a splash for sure also connects nice with the sponsor uh the west ham united home i really like the soap bubbles there it is a traditional design although i wish the color had a little bit more there that would even lift it a little bit higher but you know always blowing bubbles it's nicely represented in this shirt uh the wolves home home jersey very serene effort very classy effort i have to say um there's not much wrong i really like the uh the cuffs and the collar uh and other than that it's old gold and you have to create progress uh castori have actually done a good job here arsenal's home i think it's also quite nice although uh the pattern the flash pattern yeah this goes back to nike copycat blah blah, blah uh is maybe a little bit overbearing and i think if this was plain i would rank this even higher uh the raglan sleeves is maybe also not typically arsenal but i think it works quite well and the trimmed in gold makes for a really nice jersey overall uh then the crystal palace away maybe the colors are off but the sassy design is quite popular the sponsor in purple is maybe the one thing that keeps it from a little bit higher this should be red if you were to ask me there's also some interesting inscriptions in the, in the shirt but i think overall this is a really nice classic sash jer jersey and as you will see palace have some really really nice shirts in here uh the forest home ranks rather high and again the sponsors maybe not so nice overall so without sponsor I prefer it more but having this adidas template just gives me the feels it's so classic forest is a similar design as they won all the european cups in so i uh, couldn't love it more uh despite it not being something really special but for forest this actually works i'm also a fan of the liverpool away jersey i think the quartered look in green white with some black accents really works well the picture here the color seems a little bit too narrow but other than that i think there's something really nice about this shirt although you can find it now on sale for a rather re re reasonable price i think it's undervalued in the liverpool catalog this year uh the west ham away jersey does something really cool with you know taking out all the um, uh, applications like the crest is very subdued the umbro logo is very very subdued you have uh, the cuffs and the collar in clubs colors but then you put the bed weight just all over it makes it kind of a sponsor shirt uh, which could be a really really nice shirt if that would go ton 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 with the other logos I think we have an absolute classic here so still ranks quite high uh the luton home i think is their best jersey i i think it's a classic look maybe the only thing that's a little bit off is the ankle at the collar but i like the off center white stripe i like how the sponsor is uh, outlined i also like that there's the white stripe has a border in navy uh makes it actually overall look quite nice i i, I guess a good effort by umbro there and I really like the Brighton home. Yes, the Zerbi came from Sassolo. Uh, and so this is kind of a Sassolo look, but I have to say this template, uh, although it's the Nike template that I really don't like, uh, works quite well here. The colors work well and that the white outline between the green and the black also works really nice. This is a jersey that I'm quite high on. Better template would give, uh, give a higher grade. At eight stars, we have the Newcastle third jersey yes wild pattern in in there maybe the yellow lines are a little bit out of there but and if they would be gone i think i would rate this even higher but i think it's an overall really pleasing electric design this is much more much better than whatever city and luton town have have done i really like the composition of that one chelsea the away jersey uh while not good in contrast there's something about it that i cannot lower look away again the shiny crest we have overall a dark blue jersey uh with light blue accents it has a very 80s feel with this um 
lines that are waving in and out but there's something I can I can I really like this one it's an outstanding shirt uh, to be honest maybe it could have done a little bit better especially if it was a third jersey and we had a more better contrasting away jersey uh, the Everton third I think I'm not a fan of great jerseys but here taking this classic Hummel 1986 Denmark template that they have now all over uh, Europe uh, and adding it to Everton I think makes for a really nice contrasting look I like the uh, the collar and the chevrons here in uh, blue and white. I also like the crest. It's only St. Rupert's Tower. As I said, uh, a slightly more vibrant. Or you know, if this was more white than gray, might lift it up. But it's a really striking and well done shirt by Homer. I have to say. Also, Manchester United home. A teeny bit too much black, but the rose pattern in there really cool. Uh, yeah, we can get rid of the team viewer if, if you like. It's maybe not, no, not the best sponsor, but there's a lot of work put in there to make it a really nice and outstanding looking shirt, especially when you look at it up close. Then we have the Crystal Palace third. Yeah, another Palace shirt. I uh, absolutely uh, find this graffiti idea for the south of London uh, a good idea and always black trimmed in the club's colors. This will always get me. I, th I, th I think this is a really well done third jersey taking it uh, to the neighborhood where you come from but then also take a color that is uh, very strong add a little bit interesting pattern and then also a little bit of the club's colors very well done really like that one the Burnley away is surprisingly high but honestly I cannot look away I mean an off-center stripe is always a look that I will like uh, and we can argue shouldn't should, should, should this be more bluish than uh, blackish and so on but uh, there's something about it I really like I really like yellow away jerseys in England you have the maroon color which is the main color of Burnley you also have the sponsor fitting quite nicely in with with the crest it's a shirt I cannot explain it but I really li like it even though the color is a little bit off if you would think especially with the color blocks uh, the Arsenal third is also one of those shirts I think uh, green and blue is an absolute underused color combination the Canon by itself works quite well uh, it's a beautiful shirt uh, one that I really like seeing a whole lot and then the United third, third shirt is probably uh, one of my favorites uh, here maybe it's a little bit too simple but uh, just the devil by itself makes it look really 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 great it's an outstanding thing sure it was wearing also with red shorts for the first time ever in united history and it actually looked quite glorious i gotta say we're hitting nine stars with liverpool's home shirt a uh, classic liverpool look classic liverpool look that's all i got like i gotta say there's something really nice about this one without it being uh overbearing in any, any way i also like the burnley home jersey very classic look i love the color i love the way it's simply done this is west ham take take note this is actually better though you have the same manufacturer i also find the sponsor is quite nicely fits in nicely with the colors there too the Newcastle home, we're adding, we're really going high. I really love what Castore is done with the black and white stripes here. Uh, looks glorious. I have to have to say the sponsor is maybe a little bit um, off over, 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 overall, but you know, sponsor, sponsor, sponsor. But for black and white shirt, it's about as perfect as you can get, especially the sleeve cuffs and the collar again. Something I absolutely adore. The Everton shirt. I think there's only a few things that take it off uh, that I don't give it 10 stars. I absolutely love the collar. I love the sleeve cuff, but maybe the padding on the collar and on the cuffs goes a teeny bit too far from my liking. But other than that, absolutely classic. I mean, if this was just two single lines or maybe uh, some thin chevrons, I might not go it. I understand this is probably uh, um, influenced by the pattern in Goodison Park. For that, it's great. It's my favorite home shirt of this Premier League season. However, my favorite shirt, and no, it's not a 10. We don't have, have a 10 here, is the Crystal Palace fourth jersey. I think it was only worn in the FA Cup, but I absolutely love this. It's simple, but it's so striking. Blue with a uh, white and red sash with a nice collar. It's and also look at how the sponsor is nicely worked in. It is white but with outlines. It is so perfect, simple, striking. Uh, my favorite jersey from the Premier League this season. 
And there you have it, all the jerseys, and I took all this picture from um, Football Kit Archive, so you can find them all. So also here, all the jerseys from the Premier League in the 23-24 season, not only graded, but also ranked. Let me know where you agree and where you disagree with, with me. The advantage of doing it so late in the season is that I have seen most of the jerseys in action and can have a better feel than I would have at the beginning of the season. In any case, I hope you like this idea of doing the jersey review this way. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!